Welcome to Still Please Galaxy Heroes. This is Grand Arena, the second match, Week 3, Season 25. Last round was a frustrating loss because I didn't do my homework, didn't double check how to do certain counters, and I just got sloppy, which has been kind of the case for this season. I've been busy in real life, so I have not been as careful in a lot of these recent matches, and it's starting to show. This would have been a win if I cleared the front territory. I'm pretty sure I would have had to clear the front territory, though, from the looks of the banners and the amount of battles, because he just had a few more battles he was able to do by hitting both the back walls. The fleet area is just not worth enough with only two fleets there. So I don't think he attempted Qui-Gon here. Two shots up against Grievous, though. One oh, fair warning, there is some dogs around that might be barking. We're recording at a time when a lot of people are walking dogs, and these dogs like to bark at those times. Top territory. He did drop one, I think. Yes, up against Mon Mothma here. Just really liking how Kyle Katarn really improves that squad. And then I don't even think he attempted the executor. He just knew he couldn't beat it. Yeah. I just had a rough round last round where my go-to Grievous counter of using Night Sisters didn't work. It wasn't even that good of a Night Sister team. Just went poorly. So today's opponent, Sule Risi Hun. This is a 2GL opponent. Good mods. Decent depth. <laughs> Alright, where was I before that distraction occurred? Uh, two GLs. Here's the top of this roster. Let me show you the speeds quickly. We've been doing this lately for some reason. Kind of interesting though this time. Resistance Heroes. Fast throw on some other stuff. Not really what I would expect to be seeing. Let's take a look over at the hot bot here. And this is a Discord bot. Come on. He's got good mods and you can see that in some of his top end characters. Mod or uh, guild is very close to mine. Respectable lifetime banners. I think I looked at his grand arena history. I might be confusing this opponent with the last opponent, but I think he did a lot of undersizes. So this number is deceptive. He actually does a ton of them. Zetas are more than mine. And since he has the same amount of Galactic Legends, that means he's got most of the stuff and some nice luxury things. Advantage on the relics, but not more than what we usually see. Decent depth. He's going to have most of what he needs at 140. And then his mods, he's got more than me, but he's not that far off from my counts. And then here's what he's... Oh, no, he has three Galactic Legends. I didn't say. If I can't count three Galactic Legends, I'm worried about myself this round. And all good speeds on all of them, but he has weaker Galactic Legends that we can find counters to. No relics on the Padme. I get that, but you kind of need to do it. No Maul. Slower cat than mine. And then we're looking at... A slow and not ready to use Moff Gideon and no bad batch team really, but usable. That some people put those on defense. If you were so at that gear eight, gear nine range, use them on offense. No executor. Let's jump here, break down this defense, see if he's started attacking yet. His strategy is to go all out on offense, which is something we need to be careful about. 
So I'm not expecting to see any GLs on defense, but we do need to be careful with banners because he's probably going to full clear me. He knows how to use his roster. So no goofing around like we sometimes like to do. I did make one change. Here's my defense. Put JMK on the back wall. That JMK team will go down, but he's going to need to make sure he saves things for it. And he may use some of those things on the front wall. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Basically, I'm hoping we put him into a difficult position where he makes a mistake. That's that wall. Let's check up top real quick and then get to it. This is the same as always. Soon though, we're going to be adding relics to a lot of these squads. I'm four shards away, I think, from Mara Jade, so I'll be done with the Starkiller farms at that point, so you'll start seeing exec uh, relics on those requirements. I need like Here's what we got to deal with. Weak Grievous, Qui-Gon, Phasma, Night Sisters. That's a pretty manageable territory. We've got options for most of those squads. You know, a lot of people put Kylo with Phasma, and I don't get it, considering that Kylo can solo is one of the most common defensive teams. It's, it makes sense to save him. Just for that use. Padme with Cat. Mon Mothma. Bosk Zam does have the Omicron, so even though this is a more manageable box Bosk team, we need to be careful. And then this new team has Relic 7 Django which might force me into making decisions I don't want to make. But we'll start with Iden Verso. I still haven't made a preset for this and I should. Yeah, just, the reason I haven't been using presets is because once you have so many of them, it's kind of impractical. It's very, it's very slow to scroll through that thing with a mouse. With your finger, it's fine. Death Trooper. So playing on blue stacks, I'll very often jump into the factions. It's a risky move. Like the the presets avoids mistakes. Alcatarn's here, let's stun him. But he's missing the other characters, particularly Cara Dune, who makes this hard. Because Cara Dune has an AoE stun on Empire. They're decently fast, you can feel the difference, they're modded well. This is what Kyle Katarn does to Mon Mothman, just adds a bunch of speeds, gets rid of some of the issues with this squad because otherwise this is a very slow team without Kyle Katarn. That's one of the reasons I've been using Magma Trooper lately. That turn meter removal just adds a nice element. But this is a squad I've been talking about for a while lately where don't be fooled into thinking the relics are any good. He's down for good. Stun Lando. I always leave Biggs for last because he's so evasive and annoying. But I guess I could stun him. 
and then just take them out. This always happens with the last couple where I feel like they take a ton of turns. I need to relook at the mechanics and see what is causing them to get so many turns when they have only a couple left. Let's move on. And one of the things I wanted to say is from my sloppier play recently, I am on the cusp of being knocked down out of Kyber 2, and I will not let that happen. So you're going to see some more serious play in the next couple. I've been in Kyber 2 the whole time. I am not going to fall out. We're going to do Pelp here, which I'm a little concerned about because as long as there's no GLs on the back wall, we're going to be fine. But my concern is this is one of my Qui-Gon counters, which means I'm going to have to probably be using Night Sisters to take out Qui-Gon, which means I'm going to have to risk using Bad Batch up against Grievous which is risky and might mean I drop a battle because that Grievous is at a point where it is risky for my Bad Batch. As long as the back wall is soft, which is what I'm hoping for and what the history showed, I can use GLs and not have to worry about it. It's just not a guarantee. I could consider other counters for this. But this, I feel like, is a good balance of strength and taking out a solid team. I'm going to chuck this. No, I'm not. Pelp's about to... Cat's probably gonna go. I don't like doing this. I'm gonna do it. Give me some stones. We're not having the greatest RNG this time. This will trigger some staggers. Did I get a stagger on Padme? Good, 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 good. We didn't get it. Okay, we... If the dogs bark mid-battle, I am going to mute this so you guys don't have to hear that high screech. I'm not using an AoE right now because I don't want... Kenobi to taunt. Oh, because I have P it. What am I doing? This is why I need presets. That actually does m mess up one of my plans. <laughs> what I need is Thrawn. Like, we're not going to lose this because of that error, but...
I might lose this because of this mistake. Yeah, I'm gonna lose this because I didn't put the wrong here. I gotta switch over to presets. I needed to clear the foresight before. I'm chucking it for that tiny bit of of turn meter from clearing a debuff. All right, Padme's gone. That was a gigantic error. That was a gigantic mistake. I was talking about this with Iden Verso Battle and I wasn't paying attention when I put together this team. I needed Thrawn. I am frustrated with myself right now. It's a dumb loss. And I was going to use Knight, or I was gonna use Troopers up against Newt and now I don't wanna do it. Because I kinda need Pia for that. And now I need him to trip up, uh, trip up somewhere. All right. I'm not messing around. I want to use Maul here, seal us. difference Thrawn makes in that counter. I'm going to bet on this guy being predictable and allowing me to use good teams up front and that he's going to save all his GLs for offense and everything else really. alternate team for Newt. Yeah. All right, let me think here. I don't need much to clear this. What if I were to do Padme? Oh, I could do Shock T up against that Grievous team. That should be fine. Doesn't it, do I have a dispel? 
Shakti is the only one, right? You guys better do enough damage. These guys are almost dead. Where's my courage? Did I need to bring in a full squad of five? Oh my god. I don't see why I would have to. Okay. Now this new team, what do I want to do here? So we can do Shakti up against Grievous, Night Sisters up against Qui-Gon, Gas up against the Night Sisters, and we could do like Nest or Womp or something up against Phasma, which means this new team can go down with what? I just want to take this out. You know what? What if I bat batch this? The days will shut down a bunch of assists and stuff. I really only have one scary thing in. Yeah, let's do that. It's all a bunch of gear 12. I could have done bad batch up against that Phasma though, but. We can throw anything up against that. Now, the original plan here was troopers, and I messed that up. This is decently fast, and are you kidding me? What is going on? How fast are you guys? Looks like we can still win. Okay, that was kind of nice. I'm a little concerned about Django taking a turn. Like, this is what I thought would happen. I just didn't think they would go before me. Yeah. I didn't think they would go before me and take Hunter out, which, and now I lost Echo, which is the bad one. Jeez. This is why I was a little concerned about Django. I didn't think, though, they were going to be fast enough, because my Echo's fast. Just... Fine.
Do I really want to bet that there's nothing on the back wall? Kind of do. So I only got one Zeta. Which Zeta? If I put another good Jedi in there, and I don't want to do that. I do have the wrong. Thing is, this is too risky. He's gonna s no. He's not gonna start out with damage immunity. There's no leader. I'm trying to get away with not using a good team just to take out one character. This is very risky up against the Relic 7 because he could take out anybody. And also with only one character, Zam isn't gonna take as many turns with the thermals. Cad Bane does have an unresistible stun. Let's do it. Or to drop two battles. This is irritating. I gotta get my projects done so I get my head out of the head back into the game. Turn, we'll be able to annihilate. All right. So irritated with myself. All right. Let's check out this back wall. I'm now in a position where I, will, I need my executor win. And that's going to be an RNG thing. His echo is how fast? 278. My Moff Gideon will go faster. We're gonna try troopers here without Piet, because they're weak. My troopers will go first, at least. I don't like it without Piet. But it's only gear nine. And troopers are already pretty good without using Piet here. Pull the turn meter away. Wrecker is about to go down, and then we can target Echo. Boost the turn meter. It's 
hit that stagger. nothing this bo katan team is nothing you know what we're gonna do i'm gonna do wampa up against grievous because i want to see it for myself wampa with the omicron is supposed to be able to do it it's a little it might get a little scary but it should work i've already dropped two battles i'm going to need luck anyway so let's do this There's my protection up. We're gonna do Furious Foe in a second. Spreads a bunch of dots. Healing immunity. Do it again. And again. AoE. All right, I got to get my protection back up. That was probably an RNG moment where I had the protection up so I was okay. Had the protection up not been there at that particular moment, this probably would have been pretty scary. The longer this goes on, the safer it'll be. There's gonna be a couple big hits right now. All right. We're good. Yeah, he, we're at a point now where he's just not able to do enough damage. start doing that a little bit more often we'll go back to the back wall later we're doing night sisters here but this gets a little scary what do i want stun or healing they could do buff immunity they could stun let's do talia I don't think I'm going to be recommending Mace with Qui-Gon. There's mechanics within there that he's just, he'll benefit more elsewhere. That's at least what I'm thinking. Okay, so the first thing is get Foresight off of Anakin before he does that AoE. And now you just want people to die as much as possible. I'm going to try and spread a bunch of plague or stuns and plague.
That's fine. That's pretty ideal. Now I'm using basics as much as possible. To call Talia back as much as possible. All right, it's a little early, so I'm bringing back both of them. I don't want to risk losing anybody. Because what I need to happen here is I got to get my health stacked up and my damage stacked up really high. now to just drive a bunch more bringing everybody further okay we took that hit pretty well okay okay we're probably good where we can take out Qui-Gon we're pretty close to it I want to get everyone's protection down all right this is why I brought in Talia that healing immunity Go. Clear the foresight before Anakin's turn always. Going after Daka now. You can see how much damage is stacked up on Ventress. I actually really like clearing Wampa, or Grievous with Wampa. Let's gas this. Because my alternative is Night Sisters I can use elsewhere. Bad Batch has always been a little risky. solo done. I want to get a couple more solos. We have two solos. Can I nest something? N you can nest up against Kylo. I don't like to do it. Maybe that's something I should get over. 
Let me check out this back wall. There's a shock and stuff there. It's a really weak team though. Am I crazy to think Ness can just solo this? We're gonna find out. <laughs> oh, did I put Nest on defense? Oh no, okay, okay, okay. I did last round. I wouldn't be doing this if there was more gear on this team. Because I'm sure I'm forgetting about something that is going to make me frustrated. I do feel like they're putting on way too many debuffs for their gear levels and how much tenacity I have on her. I guess Quill spreads up a bunch of bonus stats. This was a mistake. This is a timeout is the problem. They're not gonna kill me or anything, but this is a timeout. I should take this seriously. <laughs> Alright, if I ever get to go again, we're gonna quit. It's the shared stats. That's the big problem here. Starting to work a little bit like I thought it was going to. I think if I was Relic 7, this is a win. Because a Cara Dune probably would have gone out when she was in the yellow. Alright, we're going to take the rest of this match seriously. We, we were supposed to take this match seriously at the start, but then I decided not to. <laughs> No, I did. I, I said I was not seriously. That's the wrong word. I said I was going to be careful. And then I wasn't. None of this is interesting. We're just going to blow it out now with good teams and it's going to be boring.
I don't know why I insist on beating myself. That's not the slot I like to put him in. What? It's boring. See, I hate doing that. There's just nothing fun about throwing in an overpowered team. Alright, it's Bow and what else? We'll throw in some. We'll, yeah, we'll throw a JML up against the Phasma. I just can't stop being me, is what it comes down to. It like kills something inside of me to use overpowered teams. But now there's a price to pay. And that price is not staying in Kyber 2. <laughs> I need my fleet to hold. We'll take out the armor before she complicates this. Now I'll see if I can... Yeah, kind of.
Okay. He has relics on both. What do I want to be more careful with? I think we'll do rebels here. And because we're dealing with Hound's Tooth, I'll be using the Y Wing. Disruptor, that's why I did Rebels. I should go after the tank, because this is going to be a few stars, it's going to go down quick. This is not a defensive fleet. I just felt like with all the assists, going after Razor Crest was probably a good idea. Otherwise, I would have done bigs. But had things been different, I probably would have done bigs as my first reinforcement. So the circumstances were set up in a way where I just didn't feel like we needed to. This thing's only two stars, so I know it's going to go down quick.
All right. I'm gonna need some luck. And I don't like that. I'm not happy about it. But I like to do this to myself, apparently. He's gonna do a whole lot of undersizes and that is a bad banner count. All right. We will call it there. Thank you for watching. There's a couple talk videos on the road ahead and Seventh Sisters kit analysis. I'm gonna have a tough time we're distinguishing between all these numbered sisters and brothers by the time we get them all in the game. Oh, but thank you for watching. Be safe out there, everyone, and be excellent to each other.